Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be a weekend clean with me and I'm hoping it will give you guys some cleaning motivation. Let me know if you guys feel this way too, but I feel like on the weekends I'm able, well I already know, I'm able to get a lot more cleaning done. Of course this is over a two day period, but something about the weekends I'm able to knock out so much cleaning and it wouldn't be a cleaning video without laundry. Laundry is like an every, everyday thing for me. So before I do anything, anything else, I have to put a little laundry on. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you for watching. So I wanted to mention that the vacuuming is not just like a weekend clean with me. That's like an everyday cleaning thing because of the kids crumbs and more specifically Luna's hair. Because she's a husky, I don't know what it is with her hair, but it sticks to everything. It sticks to everything and it like embeds itself into the rug and especially with Scarlet crawling now, I'm almost vacuuming the rug two times a day. Usually I find myself vacuuming everything, of course, including Luna's dog bed, that way fur doesn't build up in her bed and everything, but also you guys will see vacuuming the fireplace because like I said, it sticks to everything. But that's just, that's just one of the things that you have to sacrifice when you have a pet that sheds is you're just gonna find yourself vacuuming all the time and vacuuming everything. This also includes vacuuming the hardwood floors. You know, everybody told me that when we got the dark wood floors, we were gonna regret it because of all the kids' crumbs in the hair. And I don't regret the dark floor because I love them, but it is true. You can literally see everything on them. But good thing I have my handy dandy helper, Nolan. So you see the one that Nolan had? I got that one off of Amazon. It's a cordless vacuum for pretty inexpensive and it had decent, or it had actually really good reviews but I am just not a huge fan of it. Mainly I use it for the hardwood floors now, but I think it's about time that I bite the bullet and get a really nice cordless one. quickly want to mention these bamboo adjustable dividers. I absolutely love these. I use them in pretty much all of my drawers in the kitchen to keep everything organized. So I'll be leaving a link down below for you guys to check out as well as some other products that I've used in this video and you guys can check that out and get it for yourself if you want to. I know I'm gonna get questions about how I go about mopping and cleaning my hardwood floors. And I love my Bona floor mop. I know I've gotten a lot of questions about it because a lot of people have mixed reviews. 
it's either you love it or you hate it and personally I do like it I used to use Swiffer all the time and sometimes I'll still use Swiffer personally what I love the most about it is that I'm able to clean more of my floor faster versus a Swiffer and I can take off the cloth on the bottom and wash it every single time I'm done with it versus the Swiffer it seems so wasteful with the wet pads because you just throw away a whole bunch so that's what I do like about it also I do buy the big jugs of Bona on Amazon to refill it anytime I need some more so overall I do like it eventually I would love to get like a steamer like a floor steamer those seem those things seem really awesome so if you have any suggestions definitely leave them down below Alright, so this is going to be like a random fun fact about me, but I think normal people would probably listen to music, right, when they're cleaning. You guys see I have my headphones in or my AirPods. I feel so bougie saying AirPods, but you guys would, normal people would listen to music. No, not me. I listen to crime shows and mis murder mysteries and podcasts about crime. I don't know what it is, but music, unless it's like country music, gives me anxiety when I'm cleaning. Like I feel like I have to be going as fast as the music. I can only do music if I'm working out. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you listen to when you're cleaning? Or do you just not listen to anything? I would love to know down below. But if you're like me and you do like listening to that kind of stuff or watching it, I just want to shout out a few of my favorite channels. Definitely check out John Lorden, Stephanie Harlow, Danielle Hallen, and True Crime Daily. So I do want to add that on top of doing the endless laundry, I did do a little bit of decorating and organizing in this video as well. So I'm just adding these fairy lights onto Harlow's bed. I didn't show this in any of the videos on our main channel or like a DIY on here, but we did stain her floor bed and I love the way that it turned out. I love the color. Now I just want to find some kind of curtain or canopy that I can drape over it. And also in this voiceover, you might hear some scarlet hiccups.
you guys don't know, but I feel like most of you guys already know this if you've been following us from our main channel, we moved into this house the end of December. So slowly but surely, we've been trying to decorate each room and there's still a lot to go because it is an almost 3,000 square foot house. So there's still a lot of decorating to do, especially going from an apartment before. So one of those rooms left is our master, right? Scarlet, I know. So I'm still trying to decide what to do with this room, what kind of wall art I want or what I want to hang on the walls. I do want to get some kind of rug to go underneath the bed. So if you guys have any suggestions, definitely leave them down below. But I definitely want to do something with our room soon. I'm just mainly very indecisive. So stay tuned because that might be a future video. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing here, I just took a wet paper towel, like a damp paper towel, and I'm just wiping down this plant. Because our house is new and there's still a lot of construction in our neighborhood, our house can get pretty dusty, so this plant had so much on it, I felt so bad, so I'm just wiping it down. Last but not least, before I wrap up this weekend, clean with me, the last thing I had to do, I had, there was so much laundry. You hate those times where laundry just hits you all at once and everybody's laundry needs to be washed. This weekend, that was the case, so I needed to wash the girls' clothes, Nolan, Aria's, as well as me and Frank's clothes. So I was also going through a lot of their clothes that don't fit them anymore, so that's also what I'm doing here, replacing them with new fall clothes and putting away a lot of Scarlett's old clothes and also donating some of Nolan's old clothes that don't fit him anymore. I also wanna add that every single weekend is different in what needs to be cleaned. If you guys notice in this video, I'm not cleaning any of the bathrooms or dusting, mainly sticking to laundry and vacuuming and kind of straightening up. Like I said, every weekend varies so if you guys would like to see more of these videos definitely let me know i can maybe can make them into a weekly thing so if that's something you guys would like to see definitely give this video a thumbs up During this weekend, Frank was also working on another project, another DIY project for the channel, so that will be up later this week. I hope you guys liked this cleaning video. I think it's the first one on this channel, so definitely give it a thumbs up. Definitely let me know if you guys would love to see more. Any other suggestions, please leave down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next one.